The North Carolina Zoo's Wildlife Rehab Center helps thousands of sick, injured, or abandoned animals every year. This, this summer they are working with bear cubs and baby otters in hopes of returning them to the wild soon. Shannon Smith shows us in today's Zoo Files. These four orphaned otters are forming a new family group. At least that's the hope of wildlife rehabilitators at the North Carolina Zoo. And we're taking care of them as a family group, so they're now this foster family. And since there were older ones and younger ones, there's the ability for them to learn how to otter better from each other. This spring, people found three of the otters in separate locations along the coast. Then the fourth came in from the mountains. In each of these cases, the otters were orphaned, and that means that either a parent never came back for their offspring or a parent actually was deceased. They moved here because this wildlife rehabilitation center has the proper facilities and expertise to help animals like these recover and return to their natural wild habitat. All of our enclosures are tucked back into the woods where they can smell, see, hear, and feel life outside and we don't talk to them. They're not named. We don't interact with them. We do the minimum that we need to do. Three times a day, workers quickly and quietly release live fish, crawdads and insects into the enclosure, but they want the otters to have to forage and find the food for themselves. And we'll do all sorts of things to ensure that they have the skills necessary to survive on their own. Most baby otters spend about a year with their mothers. These will spend less time than that. Workers hope they will be ready for release in a few months. Our ultimate goal for any of the animals in our care is for release and reassimilation back into the wild. At the North Carolina Zoo, Shannon Smith, Fox 8 News.